Welcome to the Tom Style Show. Thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate your support today. I'm super excited. We got Sergio Campos with us from El Camino Financials. Now, the thing is, I was using his app last night and I felt if I was, if I had something like that when I was in college or in my early 20s, man, my financials would be different because it made me think instead of just aggregating all the data and streamlining the process, the app actually made me think that, okay, that's an expense that I forgot 12 years ago. That's an expense that goes to the credit card that I never imagined or never thought of. Oh, you know what? I had the taxes that I never really put on the spreadsheet. And I was just, uh, you know, it's mesmerizing to me because uh, in the world of streamlining things to make it super fancy and all that, where Sergio was able to bring the thought in my mind that the financially thinking about the expenses and the income and the assets. So I, 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 I'm really excited that before I go into the details of the app, before we talk about it, uh, welcome Sergio uh, for being with us. It's an honor to have you. We really appreciate you being here now. Uh, you know, your story is fascinating. So we're gonna start with the story. So tell us a little bit about yourself, a little bit about the inspiration behind this, why? Sure, thank you Tom for introducing me. I'm glad to be here and excited to tell you all about El Camino Financial and I'd be more than happy to discuss how that came to be and a little bit about myself. I, I've uh, been working in the uh, financial industry for 10 years now, which is crazy. It's uh, kind of a milestone for me. And uh, not only that, I've been in the Bay Area for close to 10 years now and it's just kind of mind blowing that it's kind of flown by. And, um, and so, and I have my business, El Camino Financial. And, um, and so uh, a little bit about El Camino Financial is it's a uh, financial planning application, personal financial planning application. And, uh, you know, the, com the competitors that come to mind to El Camino uh, Financial would be, let's say like your mint.com or, uh, you know, that, that's the biggest one. Yeah. And, Luckily for me, there's not a lot of competitors, um, <laughs> but that's a big one. And I yeah. don't mean to compare myself to them, but that's uh, kind of in the same realm of what I'm trying to accomplish with El Camino Financial, except, um, uh, except that I, you know, I'm trying to channel my 10 years of experience working at uh, wealth management firms for the last 10 years, helping very privileged individuals and yeah, families. Yeah. And it's been a great experience and one that I'm very grateful uh, to have the opportunity to do that. But now with El Camino Financial, I'm trying to take that experience for the last 10 years and apply it towards something that can help um, really anybody. But the people I have in mind are people with uh, that are, uh, you know, uh, average people um, yeah. or maybe young professionals or young yeah. adults and make the information I've learned helping more fortunate individuals and families available to, to anybody uh, because uh, I've, you know, with the experience that I have and I've taken a lot of uh, courses around financial planning, which includes estate planning, tax planning, investments, and things within, that, uh, within those categories, um, uh, insurance, yeah. retirement planning, and trying to uh, think about what can I take from all these things and, and apply it towards an app that can help everybody. And, yeah. you know, uh, people who have, uh, you know, uh, or maybe just starting off, maybe don't, they don't have the same problems as, as very uh, wealthy or fortunate uh, individuals and families. And so what can I take from my experience helping these people and help other people? Yeah. And, um, and so that's really what this app is. I, I, just kind of launched it one month ago. Um, wow, and congrats. Very early, thank yeah. you. And so prior to that, I was just, uh, you know, I'm not a developer. I have actually a, a few developers that I've worked with um, that have helped me create this. And, and so since the development is kind of completed for now, I'm now focused on, on marketing, yeah. and which is why I, I posted on, um, on Reddit, I'm trying to get the word out there on El Camino Financial, which is how I ended up on this sh great show here. Wow. And, um, and so the story behind El Camino, the more specific story behind El Camino Financial was that I was using mint.com and I, uh, there was a, a few things I didn't like about it. Uh, one of them being that I had to provide uh, uh, access to my financial accounts and access to my transactions. And so I felt like there was kind of a breach of privacy there. And then second, there, uh, it's actually a very complicated app. It's not as simple as 
entering your credentials and having everything come in organized and tidy. You actually have to do a lot of work to organize that information so that the the you know so that you benefit from it so that the, the all the charts and everything are yeah. accurate and so I thought well um, I so El Camino Financial does not ask you to provide your credentials to your accounts and um, and you uh, and you actually do provide it manually but wow. I think there's some value to that you yeah. entering your information manually and I think that you can kind of get the same benefit you get um, from these aggregation apps. Uh, without providing your credentials, yeah. and um, and so, so uh, yes, you are uh, man. You ha you have said so many things, and that's just so beautiful. It, it, it's I, I love it. So you are not only helping. So the first thing, your inspiration. That so you have been helping very wealthy people in the Bay Area, which there are many. Yes. And uh, now you want to take that knowledge, the learning, all the things you have developed, and you want to help the undeserved. You want to help the uh, the average human yes. being. You want to help the community, is good. right? Yeah. So th th that's that's beautiful because what people most people do, they learn from the other side, and then they apply it to the wealthy people right. to get wealthier. Right. And you are taking that knowledge and helping the average individual. Man, thank you. Thank uh, you. you know this is. Uh, I, I think. Uh, um, more than the, the fanciness of the app and all the tech that goes behind it, I think the story would resonate with others. Yeah. I think th th that's, that's the, when Edwin told me about it, I was like, that's the story. That's the Thank story you. as a human being I can connect with, right? right? Because uh, nobody starts <laughs> off, unless there's inheritance, but nobody starts off super wealthy. Right. They all work and work and work and right. forget the personal finance, right. right? And then when they end up to you, right. by then it's already pretty yeah. late and then it's a lot more expensive to right. you know, figure out the finances. Right. So that's beautiful. And then uh, the other thing, uh, you know, that's the inspiration side. The other thing you mentioned is you're making it simple. Right. It's because very simple. If it, if it goes in like it has too many credentials, I don't know whether I want to be giving them all my bank account, credit card, all credentials. Yes. And then they get hacked and or something right. like SBF yes. and FTX happens. Exactly. And I disappear from the face of the planet, you exactly. know. Right. <laughs> that is a bigger problem. Right. And uh, so but over here, you are simplifying it, whereas right. also educating right. the, the user. And so, uh, you know, a lot of when I present my app, a lot of people see that they have to provide this information manually as a negative, but it's actually a part of the learning process because yes. when you enter your credentials, you are not really, uh, I mean, when you enter your information manually, you are, in that process, you are learning where your money is going. And when you're providing your credentials to your accounts, you're not learning much. Yes. And so, you know, the hard part is a part of the learning process with my app, providing all these different expense categories and assets and depths. And there's even like a part where you have to classify your um, your assets by uh, you know whether it's a liquid or illiquid. Yeah. And I mean that that it takes time. It actually doesn't take as much time as people think. But that's a part of the learning process, and yeah. I think that's important for people to know. So the financial literacy should be a very important part of your mission, right? right? Yes. So financial literacy plus simplifying personal finances. Right. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So you're bringing two things together, not just right. a simplified solution. Right. So now, uh, one thing I noticed that the thing I liked about it is nowadays, you know, I, I live and breathe in the Silicon Valley environment where everything, the website is so sleek and everything perfected to the T's and right. all that. Uh, but in your website, I was able to look at the first story. I, I went through it and I was like the spreadsheet. Yeah. And that reminded me of college when, you know, in engineering classes, we had to do the, the Excel sheet right. and, you know, do the calculation. Now nobody does that. It's all calculators all set up. Right. So I'm sure it reminded me those days that you actually had to put the data. You, right. you could change the data. You could, right. you know, play around with it. Right. How could I be a little wealthier? What could I do? What could I right. cut off? Right. Yeah. So that's a, that's a beautiful thing. And so, the, um, so my app kind of resembles a spreadsheet where you can manually provide this information and my app will calculate, uh, perform calculations just like a spreadsheet will. But the difference is that I've, uh, the calculations are built in versus yes. a spreadsheet, you have to enter those Excel spreadsheets, you have to add the formulas, you have to learn Excel yeah. <laughs> or whatever spreadsheet program you yes. use. And so with this, you don't have to learn how to use Excel, yeah. which a lot of people don't know how yeah. to use or don't care to, because to use. Because community, you're targeting young generation. They, even right. if they know, they don't, they don't wanna, they wanna play Minecraft or something I was right. saying yes. <laughs> yesterday's yeah. video. Right. <laughs> right, right. So, so I, I like that. Now, now the thing is, um, 
now that you just started, just launched the app, yeah. and you know you're doing the marketing, you're yeah. gonna get some users. Mm -hmm. uh, are you thinking about making it completely free, or I think you have a twenty dollar a year program or something like yeah, that? Yeah. So right now, I'm actually not charging. It's free. Okay. I, you know, I want to build my user base and my fan base. I like to call it actually. Yes. And so I'm not charging right now, and don't plan to. I do have um, pricing listed on my website, and uh, but right now uh, it's free. Anyone can sign up, and. Um, and yeah, and, and and so right now I'm focusing on, on the marketing of, of my app and yeah. and um, now yeah. uh, so I love that now now the thing is your app is also available on the app store no so it's it's a web app it's a web it's application just web yes. only and that was um, you know because I have such uh, great developers that I'm working with they they um, they uh, it's a it's a good way to um, test your yes. idea and it's um it's just uh, you know. Everyone not, might not have an iPhone, yeah. you know, and um, and it's also a good way to um, uh, learn what you would want in an app. And so the app, yeah. I think, is is uh, uh, something I plan to do in the near future. But Down I the thought road. the yeah. website was um, was a good good place yeah. to start. Yeah, a good place to start yeah. because you know, a financial app is not like oh, you just open your iPhone, play some video games, and it, right. you got to do the research. It you, takes time. You got to yes. go to Bank of America or yeah. Chase dot com and yeah. you know pull the data, right? Right. So there is no point having all everything on the phone. Right. But I, I think uh, so in the development down the road, maybe when you do the app, mm -hmm. uh, so you'll probably have multiple. Uh, versions maybe you can do like a beginner right. intermediate and yeah. uh, enterprise something like that exactly right? and that's actually um, the the enterprise thing is something I'm really focused on because yeah. there's a lot of apps um, in the investment advisory world that are uh, very complex and um, so not only in the personal financial world you know you have mint.com and other apps that are very complicated but in the enterprise world, um, at investment advisory firms or wealth management firms, financial planning firms, you have technology that is very um, expensive and uh, complicated. And, and I think that, so when I'm developing my app, I also have um, in mind, th there seems to be, I think with the internet, a trend where there's a lot of people, young professionals pursuing their own yeah. financial planning business instead yes. of going to go work for the large brokers. Right. And so, Right now, my app is pretty simple, but I think it does. Um, I think it is a good solution, you know, for someone who's just getting started yeah. and and taking on clients with just like maybe a few hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, you know, they don't yeah. need these very complex app or uh, uh, tools apps that are available that cost thousands of dollars a, yeah. a year. So there's, you know, I, I'm on uh, Instagram and Twitter, and there's a lot of um, these financial professionals. Yeah going their own route. And I see on their website, they're paying for these tools. And I know that it's taking a big chunk out of their wow, profits. Yeah. And so I'm also trying to you know, think about like, if I went on my own right now, you know, what would I need? And I think yes. that my app provides a solution for these young professionals taking on um, these clients that maybe don't have millions of dollars, but maybe hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yeah. I'd say maybe a million or less. I think that my app is, you know, I, enterprise version right now, I think in mind I have, it was only $25 a month yeah. for the enterprise wow. version. And whereas a lot of these other uh, financial planning apps that also you pay for these tools and you're only using like 20% of the functionality, uh, you know, yes. that, that's very common. Is Very you're, common. You're paying for a lot of, uh, functionality that you never use. Yeah. And so I'm trying to, you know, and, and a lot of companies start that way is they build these very complex apps. And, you know, I know because I've used all of the major ones in the last 10 years, I've been uh, a user, I've been an administrator of these tools. And so I know the pain points that these yes. professionals feel because, you know, it takes hours to navigate, to learn how to navigate these tools and to, to, to get what you want out of them. And so I'm kind of, you know, reverse engineering these things, and um, and not only that, some people will look at my app and uh, see that it, maybe it's too simple. But again, these other tools like really far out, wow. and I am kind of taking the calculations that my tool performs. You know, I didn't just make them up, or you know, uh, they're actually when you look at the study of financial planning, which I have a certificate in financial planning from UC Berkeley Extension, and when you look at what they're teaching you, these calculations are some of the core calculations yeah. they're telling you to look at when you're helping someone plan their finances. Wow. They're, you know, they're not focused, you know, they're not teaching you, you know, to make 50-year projections. I yeah. mean, they do introduce you to these tools, but, but 
with my app, I can explain how these calculations are done. And I yes. do that in the FAQ section of my app. I have a very clear explanation of how every single calculation is done. Like someone will know, but when you yeah. look at like these other tools that are making these 30 to 50 year projections, they, a lot of people put faith in those and, but they can't explain, like yeah. they can't explain it. That's where, you know, <clears throat> when I saw it, I've been keep thinking about this, the literacy part, like it's so easy for uh, you know a financial planning uh, student to that's starting out right. to learn from it and apply it in college and then exactly. when they start out on their own because nowadays yeah. people are entrepreneurial a lot more than in the past right, right? they want to take the risk they right. want to do these content creation YouTube right. you know even even if you think of uh, financial planning for a content creators right, right. some exactly. of them are making a couple of six figure and high six figure right, right. so and 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 their finances are way more complex than right. a w2 income right. because they're giving away cash right. how do you calculate that the accounting of that exactly. it's, it's way difficult right. to figure out and you know if if they start using your app yeah. uh, it's a good starting point yeah. like um, i think that the solutions out there are great but to jump into those you might not need it and so i'm trying to think like what what would be a stepping stone yeah. into those yeah. apps that are out there that um, companies are using and financial a, professionals in life it's a good thing to have simple stuff and then need something more and then go out there and get that exactly. and add that yeah. instead of having it all yeah. and then you oh i don't use that and probably once a year i might right. uh, check that you know th that's not a good <clears throat> life you learn nothing right. and you stay completely it's it's yeah. like a, I don't even know how to navigate the roads because Google yeah. Map is always telling you where yeah. to go. But also right. part of it is, which is, uh, you know, part of it is that a lot of these financial planners um, who are just starting off will just buy these tools because that's what everyone else uses. Yeah. And they feel like to be, you know, might make them a little more competitive. Oh. And um, again, they don't have a need for maybe, yeah. you know, maybe they're using 25 percent of it but i've i've yeah. used these a lot of these tools um on behalf of advisors that i've worked for and um i know for sure that uh, half of the functionality is not being used and so um you know i'm, I'm trying to methodically develop my app to uh, adopt features that people are actually going to use and it might take some time before i you know get to a a perfect enterprise solution but i'm starting yeah. very small so this is the, the interesting part is, you know, I, I see uh, these college dropouts that are starting out. Yeah. Now, the problem is they have never seen the industry. Right. They don't know how, what software is used yeah. in all these big banks, wealth right. management companies. Right. Yeah. But you are coming in with the knowledge, with the ex expertise right. of yeah. these industries, how things work, right. serving clients. So you have the idea, you know what it takes, right? right? Yeah. And now you are... Uh, going reverse engineering, like, exactly. okay, how can I simplify it? Exactly. How can I make it easier, right? right. So this is so interesting. I yeah. love that. You know, uh, uh, this, is, this is so amazing. Now, I want to know more that why not stay in the comfort zone? Yeah. Why this entrepreneurial path? What's yeah. going on? That's, that's a really good question. Um, uh, so this is actually my second uh, official oh. startup venture that I've been a part of. And I actually don't like to talk about my first one because <laughs> it didn't end so well for me. Okay. But I can give a general uh, story of, sure. of about that. And um, so I, I've been working at these wealth management firms and I've served in a lot of different roles, uh, client facing roles, um, operations, back office roles, uh, compliance, even IT. Um, and, uh, and, and, and now I'm more of in a client facing role. But, um, but my previous idea, I was working in a very operational focused role and there was a problem that I was facing that took a lot of time and uh, was very mundane task that I just did not enjoy doing. Yeah. And, um, and so I, I, being in San Francisco at that time, I knew there has to be some developer here that yeah. can help me with this solution. Oh. And I lived in a, a, a apartment building complex where everyone I met in the elevator was a developer. Oh. So I'm like, I'm gonna find somebody. <laughs> and so, one day, my neighbor in the building invited me to poker night, and he was a developer, and everyone there was a developer. Wow. And so I, and I was also trying to learn how to code at that time uh, because I thought well, maybe if I can't find someone, I'll try to do it myself. And I, I met someone that night um, who I told, oh, I'm learning how to code, and they asked, you know, and then I ended up telling them why, and they became interested in that idea. And um, they had their own business going, and they liked the sound of my idea. And so uh, a few months later, after meeting with this person a few times, they decided that they wanted to help me. And the kind of deal was that if they made this app, 
I would get a, a customer. And because I knew, I was very confident at that time, um, I knew that the problem I was trying to solve was industry wide. Wow. And, um, and so this person developed this tool and I got us a first customer. Wow. And it was actually my employer at the yeah. time, which oh, was man. crazy. Yeah. yeah. And, and it was a win win because, well, one, like, he, I proved to him that this was a viable solution and I saved my employer and myself hours. Like I turned yeah. a task that would take days into minutes. It was oh, crazy. Man. And, um, and so, uh, and so I had other people also interested in this tool because I knew a lot of people working in operations yeah. dealing with the same problem. And so, uh, fast forward, this developer, uh, uh started doing some shady things behind oh, the scenes. As I soon see. as he learned the potential of this idea, yeah. he met some other people, didn't involve me in those conversations. Yeah. And this was someone who at first was treating me very well, calling me brother um, and treating me like they're their best friend. But as soon as he learned how good of an idea this was, he started behind my back. Oh man. Pursuing, uh, trying to grow it himself. And, um, and that turned very ugly, unfortunately. And I walked away from that um, because Any of how much stress. Any you guys had before? So, Enforceable? I mean, so I can't really talk about it, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I, I, I walked away with very, you know, some reward, but nothing okay. that I think I deserve. Um, uh. And they got acquired. And you gotta be kidding yeah. me! Oh my god! You yeah. gotta get a chunk of that uh, out of that, man. You yeah. So some they got litigation. acquired, <laughs> and I mean, they uh, well, you know, within our uh, we, you know, so I did pursue uh, legal action, and within our agreement, you know, I see. Uh, that was this was very this was like a year before or two years before they got acquired, but I mean, the tool stayed the same. You know, oh. he was working with the same idea. Nothing changed between that point. And so, um, and I knew, I knew how good of an idea it was and how common of a problem it was. Man. And so this person, um, you know, I don't, I don't know what they got, you know, or anything, but it really like was, you know, really hurt my feelings. Like someone so, that I trusted and, um, this and is, is very, uh, a very heartbreaking, yeah. but a good experience. Right. And also, right. whoever is listening, a lot of the VCs, they listen to this yeah. very secretly. They just watch, what is this Tom doing now? Yeah. Why is he going public all of a sudden with all these people? What's yeah. up with him? Now, Thanks. anybody who is listening or who is watching this would definitely give you the credit because it got acquired. That right. means the idea was good. Right. So that means whatever it is you're going to say now, right. they're going to listen right. more carefully. Right. Well, when, that's what I walked away with too was like, you know, I, you know, it was very, it was, it was rough following that and hearing that. But at the same time, I was like, wow, I had the idea. I knew it was a good idea. And uh, I learned a lot from that experience. And um, the beauty of yeah. your ideas are, you know, you're learning these workplace problems or problems your employer is facing and you're streamlining it. You're right. saving them time, saving them money right. and, uh, you know, helping the clients. So you are right. looking at, uh, an existing problem that's already there in the industry, but nobody has time to look at it. Like, right. oh, we're too busy. Just exactly. get it done, whatever exactly. it is. Get your job done, get your money, go home. You exactly. know, don't, don't come up with another idea. Right, and, just get the right. job done. Yeah, yes. exactly. You know, it's just when I started, you, you're so right. When I started, I was giving my boss hundreds of ideas. Mm. Oh, we could do this, we could do this, we could tweak this. It, my boss is like, Tommy, you know, let's focus on the work you're, your code you're writing right. or whatever I was doing. Yeah. And, uh, and, and so uh, if you want to have a job, just focus on that. Don't come yes. back every time. I was doing this outside of my job right. because they didn't want me to spend time uh, or even bring it up. Like That's the beauty of it, you yeah. know. Uh, and I, I, I tell that to young people all the time mm. because sometimes they think as soon as they're 19, they know everything in the world. Yeah. They figured out how to streamline the internet right. or how to right. take care of Yeah. Chances are you don't. Right. You need that extra 10 years of experience to right. get to know the problem, yeah. get to the heart of the problem. Right. Right? And, 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 and a lot of these uh, developer stealing IP or getting the idea is very common in yeah. the valley. Yeah. And you'd be surprised, not just developers stealing from an idea man, yeah. but developers stealing from another developer right. they were sitting next to. Yeah. You know, a friend of mine, he's a you know, very high-end developer. He retired and uh, invested in a company, gave a lot of resources. Mm -hmm. And the, the other developer <laughs> took all of that and you know, came up with legal contracts to get him out. Yeah. And now he's pursuing you know, lawsuits. So wow. you know, it, it's just, Terrible. Uh, you're thinking of uh, whatever it is, uh, yeah. it, it kind of happens because people get greedy, yeah. especially when they see a good idea. Yeah. And, you know, and, and I'm not gonna just say if people get greedy, but they act on it. Yeah. And the problem is, I'm telling you one thing, the problem of cashing out too early mm -hmm. by stealing idea 
it never really worked very well. Right. Because what happens every time I saw somebody did that, we were like, oh, he's so lucky. He got everything, got acquired. It. Right. And then he went into the similar thing, did the exact same thing, yeah. went into another litigation, and at the end lost it all. Yeah. I have seen so many people. <laughs> yeah. Look, that's karma, not credit karma. <laughs> <laughs> not credit karma, no. <laughs> that, that is acquired by Intuit, right? I think so, yeah. Is, for, yeah. For, for $10 billion or something, yeah. it was like, whoa, give me, oh, it, yeah. okay, what? Yeah. what just happened here? Right, yeah. <laughs> this is, uh, you know, but this financial answer, Mint is also but, part of Intuit. Oh, they're also part of Intuit, yeah. yeah. I mean, Intuit's a legit That's, uh, you know, yeah. the QuickBooks. I mean, QuickBooks ain't going tax, right? yeah. It's just. Yeah. The killer things. Oh yeah, they even owned Rocket Mortgage before, yes. but then they sold it off. Oh, and, really? uh, yeah. uh, so you know they, they are a, doing something you know right. crazy software yeah. people. Uh, you know but the, the thing is sometimes in these companies, one of the things you were mentioning, they make the software way complicated than right. necessary. Yeah, part of that, you know, I provide resources to to a lot of financial <clears> clients, <throat> a lot of you know tech tech clients, and uh, one of the thing is we keep billing. We make it complicated. Sometimes yeah. they don't even need it. We invent the problem for them yeah. to implement right. a solution. Yeah. Right? It keeps going on and on. And right. by the time it comes to the end customer, which is you as a financial yeah. planner, you're like, where are these other 80% going to be used? <laughs> yeah. Who right. came up with it? Right. <laughs> right? Yeah. Right. And, and that's the beauty of it. But now you can kind of be the rebel. Right. And take uh, that 20% and build your yeah. own. And build your and own. And that's the beauty thing, of like right? bootstrapping, you yeah. know, and, and funding this on my own is I can do whatever I want. There's no pressure for me to add things yeah. or, you know, like you said, create problems. <laughs> or, <laughs> that uh, doesn't exist. I, yeah, that doesn't exist. Right. And, um, I mean, but there one point I wanted to make about yeah, my story yeah. was that, you know, one of the biggest things I learned from that, uh, my situation was like how I, I don't want to treat people the way that person treated me going yeah. forward. And, yes. and I think it's one of the most interesting things, um, sharing that story as painful as it is, because it reminds me of all the negative feelings <laughs> I went through, is that yeah. um, I've met, uh, you know, because now I'm talking to developers and entrepreneurs and trying to grow my network, is that a lot of people have gone, like you said, it's very common in Silicon Valley, yeah. a lot of people have yeah. gone through something like that. And so I feel like there's kind of a purpose, like it helps me connect yeah. with other people because they, a lot of, uh, a developer I work with now, was like, oh man, like I met this guy who had this idea and then he told me he was giving me all this equity and then he disappeared with all the uh, code and I never got anything. Yeah. And I mean, you know, uh, your uh, producer shared a very similar story with me. And, yeah. uh, and so I, it's, uh, so that was a big lesson for me was to uh, oh, make man. sure that I, you know, um, so you don't rip anyone producer? off. Uh, uh, your producer. Oh, Edwin? Yes. Edwin has a similar story? Yes, he does. Oh yeah. man. I, I did... shared my story with him and he, <laughs> And oh, he had shared a very similar story with me. Yeah. Wow. I mean, okay. okay. A little different, but okay. similar. Yeah. Wow. That that's interesting. Yeah. yeah. That, that that caught my mind. Like, okay. Edwin yeah. is in yeah. his twenties. How what what happened? Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's. Uh, but yeah, this is this is a good learning experience yeah. because the other thing you mentioned about bootstrapping. But at some point, are you thinking about going into the seed or pre-seed or you know angel? Um, or some kind of. It's not something I am. It's not a goal of mine. Mm -hmm. I um. For now, I um, I think that with the resources I have, I can do a lot. Um, you know, and I mean, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I yeah, mean, yeah. at some point, some people don't have a choice. Um, yeah. But I'm not there yet, and I mean, that's yeah. a good problem. To, that's a to very have. good problem to have. <laughs> if I if yes. I you know if I see uh, a certain level of success and I feel like getting outside investments yeah. is worth it, then I mean, that's a good situation. Uh, but I'm not there yet. You know, the, you are simplifying the things and. When you go, I, I'm telling you, this is the honest truth. If yeah. you go uh, to an angel investor now, yeah. they'll be like, oh, I love it. Fantastic. It's great. We need to implement artificial intelligence. There yeah. has to be some sort of AI Definitely. involved there. Definitely. And you're like, okay, you know, I just, you know, I know that because yeah. I've been using it in my at my work, yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> and yeah. Over here, I'm trying to go back to human intelligence. Right. Not the, the fundamentals, yeah. The fundamentals, right. right? But I mean, I, so... I feel like the timing of my app is also a good timing because of yeah. all the tools that are available now, like uh, yeah. Chat GPT and oh, <laughs> OpenAI. I'm like, wow. wow, what a time to start yeah. a business that these things are so available because if I'd started this five years ago, like yeah. there was no chance of me even knowing how to incorporate AI. And so now there's these tools that are around that make things a lot easier. And uh, I mean, I've done some very light uh, experiments with the data that my app produces and putting it into OpenAI and yeah. it's like, it's really cool. Um, oh, and wow. I mean, I'm not, you know, I, I'm very, you know, that th chat AI or the, the, the OpenAI just started exploring the last yeah, couple yeah, weeks like yeah, everybody else yeah. on the internet. And I mean, it's, um, it's promising and um, 
I mean, it sounds like the and kind of intuitive just way to go. Getting up, uh, getting started. You know, yeah. they have been doing yeah. it for quite a long time. Yeah. But nobody paid attention until right. something really charismatic presentation. Yeah. Well, it's easy to right? use. Now too. it became super. Anybody easy. can use yeah. it. And because uh, you can conversationally AI. Right. And uh, so you know, this is fantastic. And yeah. So you can actually, you know, uh, use some uh, open open AI API yeah. with your app and right. so make the advanced version with the AI capabilities. Possibly, right. And right. whereas I'm like. That could be a feature I add yeah. early on in the basic form uh, of an app that I have right now versus yeah. like, you know, building something complex yeah. to incorporate that, yeah. uh, you know, and, or I mean, because a lot of tools now are very complex. And so like to incorporate AI, it's just going to be like one of a million features that they offer. Oh, but whereas yeah. me, it'll be like the simple thing with AI. Yeah. And because um, pretty much what I've done so far is, you know, es essentially El Camino Financial is, uh, it's a, a calculator. Essentially, yeah, yeah. with a user interface, friendly user interface, and it has a log of your historical financial information. Yeah. And what I've pretty much done, which is so easy to do, is I've got copy the output, paste it into OpenAI, and it just gives you some well-written analysis, which I think is pretty cool. And wow. maybe that can be incorporated, you know. And um, it's yeah. not, you know, it's just pretty much writing something a really well-written analysis. But I think wow. just having that, it could I'm sure be pretty cool. A lot of financial planners are looking at it like, oh, you know what? Let's use his calculator. Let's learn the whole process. So. Yeah. We're not OpenAI. Make it more charismatic. Make it more fancy. Yeah. Deliver the report to my boss. Get a raise. Exactly. Yeah. Man, you just you just yeah. gave them a secret. I know. To uh, get a raise tomorrow morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. They, yeah. they, need to, they need to tune in. Yeah. And and so the thing is, you know, man, you're you're uh, going into so many different areas because you're helping the undeserved community. You're helping the financial planners. Right. So you have uh, so many components. Yeah. Now, one thing I I I, I think you are gonna stretch thin. Right. So you're gonna be doing so much right. for so many places because you know you're gonna yeah. get a call from the foundations to give a uh, talk. You're gonna right. you know to help that community, and yeah. then the next thing you know, financial planners are like, hey, can we use this? Incorporate yeah. your code into our setup. Right. Uh, you know, uh, because as you said, it's a calculator, just like the payroll calculator right. or mortgage calculator. Those yeah. are everyday yes. people are using it right. without even thinking, right? right? And they're giving the output, and people are using the even the mortgage calculator using those all the time. Right. for to do even a simple lending agreement. Right. They're like, you know what? Just use the mortgage calculator. To get the, the get the details and put it back into the right. simple agreement for P two P lending, right? Right. right. But, and 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 you know, so so much potential for, and it's right. super for, completely free, right? Right. Yes, so completely there free. Is no, El Camino uh, Financial dot com. Wow. So yeah. El Camino Financial dot com. Why, why El Camino? What, oh, what that's is? a great question. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, uh, El Camino means the way. Um, so uh, so I thought, but. Where that originated from, El Camino, was I owned a 1970 El Camino, oh. <laughs> a Chevy El Camino. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And uh, I, went, I had started this app when I owned it, and I looked at just the name like, of, the, of the car, and I'm like, wow, that's a, yeah. it means the way. The and way. I was starting my app, and it had a lot of other funkier names for it. Um, but I thought, you know, that's a the way is wow. is a I mean the that's financial way the way the exactly. way forward for yes. your personal finances exactly makes so much sense yeah and I think what's unique is or, you know is a little throws people off is that I do have the word financial in it but I also feel like people associate you know a name like my company's name with certain type of companies yeah. and that's kind of the idea is like I have this more traditional financial company name I guess but I'm yeah. I'm not a but I'm a untraditional company you know uh -huh. I, I'm not like you know and there's you know I'm not like what people think you know they think yeah. oh it's gonna be a lender or it's gonna be an investment firm yeah. and uh, but also um, when someone sees a, a company name with the word financial on it they think that that, that that company is helping maybe wealthier people but it's also yeah. like no we can have this type of name uh, yeah. financial in it and we're helping anybody. Was, uh, there was another thing I was thinking because um, Aaron Paul from The Breaking Bad, he yeah. has a movie on Netflix, I think, yes. El, Camino. El Camino. Yeah. So I was thinking, was he watching Netflix and came up with the name? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, close. It's, it's inspired from the car. Right. And, oh, yeah. um, you know, and yeah. So I'm, because that's what, that's why that movie is named oh, that or the show. The, yeah, I haven't I never watched, watched it. the movie. Though. Yeah, I never watched it either. I watched Breaking Bad, which was a great show. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And, but that's, he owned an El Camino in that oh. series or even in Breaking Bad, I think. And that's, I think that's partly why they named it. Wow, and, man, uh, you're so connected. But yeah. if people start connecting you with that, that would be, you know, yeah. because that's a drug dealing going on. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, oh, so he's helping. Yeah. Is that the community? I mean, I'm helping anyone organize their finances, and there's no judgment. <laughs> it's, it's not going to be like that Ozark or uh, I think. No, <laughs> yeah, that's a good show, too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's doing financial planning for them. Yeah. But I don't think that you can just do in a calculator. No, I think. <laughs> 
you need uh, a lot more complex yeah, help with that. Complex stuff. You yeah. need AI and the chat GPT. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and a uh, very smart accountant. <laughs> yes. Uh, so the, yeah. Man, this is so inspiring. I, I really like that. So now, what would be your next step? What are you going to do next? So um, right now, I'm focusing on learning marketing. Uh. <laughs> anything and everything marketing. <laughs> I, I, yes. um, you know, I, I'm learning the, the landscape of anything marketing. I'm learning the, you know, I, I, I'm learning how people use social media for marketing. And so I, I went from this phase of working with these developers very closely um, to develop the app. And, um, and, and I've now transitioned to learning everything marketing from Twitter to Facebook and Instagram and TikTok wow. and um, also um, connecting with influencers like Influencer. yourself. Oh, and, um, <laughs> thank you. And, um, and, and trying to, I guess, develop my marketing channels yeah. and, no, and learn about the best route. This is your first interview, yeah. uh, and, and you did terrific. Thank so, you. you know, I, I think you're going to. Uh, but you know the Thank story you. of the, the the liver king, right? He goes he goes from podcast to podcast, mm -hmm. and then he became he goes shirtless and something. Yeah. I think for you, uh, you got to put a calculator in the yeah, jacket. Exactly. And exactly. I think that guy goes everywhere. He, he takes a calculator. Yeah. What just yeah. Mean? I mean, that's probably <laughs> right? not, maybe a pin or something. Yeah. yeah. And, and then you go viral. Yeah. And the next thing you know, no more marketing required. It's right. done. Exactly. But yeah, this I is so. uh, you know you're helping the community, you're helping people, and you're you're uh, so once the marketing goes viral or at yeah. least you get some loyal. Users, yeah. You can can follow right. um, El Camino Finance on Twitter. Um, okay. Okay. El Camino Financial was taken, so El Camino oh. <laughs> Finance on Twitter, okay. and that's where I'm the most active right now. Ah. And um, so, is it post Elon Musk acquisition? <laughs> <laughs> so I think Elon will be very happy. Oh, he's very active recently. I hope recently. so. If he's listening, right? Yeah. When Jack Dorsey was me. there, he wasn't. He was focused on development. Yeah. I came along. He's tweeting. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> That's why he says uh, engagement yeah. all time high. Exactly. Right? Yep. No I mean, we're on there. <laughs> nice, nice man. I, I love that. So, yeah. the, so you were on Twitter and yeah. now, you know, engaging with people. And I have a blog on my ElCaminoFinancial.com. There's a blog section. I read and that. I'm, it was I'm writing. Very very helpful. Yeah, you know, you were very good, very simplified writing. Thank you. Not like New York Times, and then right. it goes here, there, all over the place. Thank you. It's very nice. So yeah. thank you for that. Now, is there any message you want to share with your fellow entrepreneurs? Because we always say young entrepreneurs, but we never say, you know, yeah. professional entrepreneurs, people yeah. that are coming from the industry. Right. There's so much knowledge they bring in, yeah. and we kind of exclude them or take their idea and run away. Right. Right. Yeah. Whereas, you know, they, if we can put them at the center, yeah. imagine what we could do. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. So, you know, any word of advice for your fellow folks? Um, I, uh, I listen to a lot of entrepreneur podcasts. Yeah. Uh, specifically, the one I like was the Stanford Entrepreneurship Podcast. They have a lot of executives on there yeah. um, and from well-known companies, and that's free. I mean, there's yeah. so much information on there. And um, plus the Tom Style Show. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly the Tom Style Show. Yeah, I mean, uh, thank you. Yeah, your previous episodes, a lot of great information. And um, I there was a book I read by Peter Thiel. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I forget which I one is zero to one, zero to one, or something yeah, like some, that. Yeah, uh, some scaling. He, he, he has yeah. some really good books. And so that was really yeah. uh, changed my perspective on things, oh, and yeah. um, and really, um, that's a good book. Yeah, yes, easy to yes. read. Yeah, and Peter Thiel is the original PayPal mafia, He's right? The guy, exactly. So he created the. And he talks about his experience right? with PayPal, which is interesting. Wow. And your experience with El Camino Financial, man, yeah. you're 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 yeah. in the right direction. Right. Yeah. You know, I yeah. think you're reading. But I, one thing you did mention earlier is yeah. I think there's a lot of people graduating college and not yeah. getting work experience and trying to start a business. But I think there's a lot of value to working somewhere yes. and learning about problems, and um, I think there's a lot of value to that. And Absolutely. I think a lot of people are trying to go around that, and I think it's easier if you just do yeah, it. Yeah, it, it kind of, you know, the trend came along where, uh, you know, it's, uh, I think Zach was talking about that, a Princeton dropout, you uh -huh. know, dropout wow. word became sexy. Yeah. I'm like, wait a second, you know, that, it was always sexy to complete something, right. to finish something, right. not dropping out, right? right? But, right. you know, there are exceptional cases where they dropped out. Yeah. Like, you know, the first case was Bill Gates. Yeah. And people ask him all the time. But the thing is, he reads more than any college student in right. anywhere combined. Right, exactly. Right, so for him being yeah. a dropout or whatever out makes no difference, right. you know? So people take one of that idea and then they put it everywhere. Yeah. Uh, but, but, you know, the work experience, you know, without work experience, I wouldn't be anywhere, right? right? Yeah. I learned the things yeah. from the work I did. Yeah. Um, you know, so that's, that's really valuable. So you brought in so many things, man. I, I, I really you. appreciate it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we want to see you back on the oh, show. Oh, definitely. I'm glad uh, to be As soon as you have more back. things going on, right. more ideas, more stories, we want to learn from you. We, we want to listen from you. Awesome. And uh, anything you want us to promote, whatever it is you want, want us Great. to do to help the community, yeah. you know, we're all for it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks, Thank Tom. Thank you.